You grew up in New York, right? No, no, Where'd no. I grew up, up in Plainfield, Illinois, a little farm town on a, like a corn and soybean farm. Were you the type of kid that would say to people, I'm going to be famous one day, I'm going to be a comedian? Because when you're, when you're in a cornfield, I'm nobody, go to Hollywood. nobody believes it, right? <laughs> First of all, no one's there. We had no neighbors, so I'm just a, it was a, just a weird kid like in a barn talking to herself. I mean, really. It was, and, and did you have fantasies of being famous and being an actress? No, uh, no, I don't think I knew that people, I don't know that I thought it was really possible. I knew I was slightly obsessed with SNL right? because I would like sneak and watch it when I wasn't supposed to. I like, would stand in the crack of a door and watch it when my parents didn't know. And I knew like I loved what they were doing. Who and, were your heroes on Saturday Night Live? Oh, like Gilda Radner and yeah. Lorraine Newman. And I mean, all of them, actually, because I just they all would make they just would embarrass themselves and they wouldn't care. And it was so cool to me that, you know, they I'm, didn't care. I'm jumping ahead. But uh, in the new movie, you have Dan Aykroyd, right? Yeah. Now, that's got to be oh mind blowing when you get to work with a guy because you were a Saturday Night Live fan. And then you have so, Dan Aykroyd standing so, there. And every movie he's made, like, I mean, sitting in the car with him and he would just randomly tell a story about when he was making like blues, like Blues Brothers or he'd say something about a, a certain sketch and you were like. Oh my God, he's talking about like the one I've seen 5,000 times. Yeah, and he doesn't realize, he's probably thinking you don't even know what he's talking about, but meanwhile you do know. Yeah, because I'm trying really desperately to stop going, oh my God, oh my God, he's talking about it. And did you get to work with Bill Murray recently or yeah. you, you have a movie coming up yeah, with him? Yeah, St. Vincent's coming out, and uh, which he's remarkable in. And he's and just as brilliant. He's amazing. I mean, he's really, and he, you know what was so cool? I didn't know because he's such an enigma. He's such a kind of mystical guy which did not change upon meeting him but seeing how much he cares like he really really is it's not just like he can say anything even though he can he really was focused on the work and like making sure like it you know just seeing the care he put into it I was like I just thought that was cool that he could probably say anything and it would seem amazing but he really he really cared about it